Hey guys, so I'm gonna start off by priming my skin with the Too Faced Hangover Primer and then I'm gonna apply my MAC Strobe Cream to my cheekbones. So I'll be using these two Fenty Beauty foundations. One is 350 and the other one is 345. I believe the matte one is 340 and the hydrating one is 350. But I just like mixing these two foundations because the finish of both of them are perfect. For concealer, I'm going to use the New Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer in the shade C11.2. To cream contour, I'm using my LA Girl Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. I like contouring my cheekbones, forehead, nose and my jawline. And I'm just blending that out with a flat dense um, foundation brush. I really like using this because it just blends it out really nicely. On top of that concealer, I'm going to apply my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 330. I like using this concealer right on top because it's a little brighter and it's creamier which makes it really nice to blend out. And right here I'm just blending out that concealer with my Morphe sponge. I like it, it's okay. I still prefer my Real Technique sponge but this one's okay. Right here, I'm using my sponge and applying whatever's left from that concealer underneath my contour just so it could look more snatched and defined. To set that concealer, I'm using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder underneath those areas and also where I get oily, so around my mouth and my forehead. To set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Honey. I really like using this powder just because it's lightweight and it just gives like a really natural matte finish. For bronzer, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. And I'm using this Real Techniques brush, I forgot the name, but I'm going to put it in the link down below. Next, I'm going in with my favorite blush, and that is the Anastasia Blush Trio in the shade Cocktail Party. To fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to use the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I use this in all my videos. It's literally nothing new. This brow pencil is bomb, and it's only $5, so make sure y'all pick this up. And to set the eyebrows, I use my Benefit Give Me Brow Gel in the shade number 4. To highlight, I use my Dose of Colors Katie and Desi Highlighter in the shade Chasing the Sun. Right on top of that highlighter, I applied the ColourPop and Shayla Highlighter in the shade Boomin. Oh, there goes my good sis. For the eyes, I used the Anastasia and Jackie Ina palette, and I first went in with the shade Ginger, which is a classic brown shade. Mm -hmm. 
Then I went in with edges, which is a slightly deeper brown, and I applied that right on top just to give it some dimension. Then on my lid, I applied, I think this is from my other Morphe palette, but this is just a matte flesh tone color that I just applied all over my lid. To line my eyes, I used the NYX Matte Liquid Eyeliner, which is bomb. It completely replaced my NYC Liquid Liner, and yeah. For mascara, I use my Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Lash Mascara. I feel like this one was really dried out and I need to get a new one. But you know, I made it work. <laughs> I also applied lashes off camera. Right here, I'm lining my lips with the ColourPop Lip Liner. I think this was a collaboration with Shayla and this is the shade BFF3. For the lipstick, I used my Morphe Mega Matte Lipstick in the shade Commit, which is like a poppin' matte nude. Right here, I just did my Line Sisters lashes, and the lashes that I applied on her were from my other Line Sister. Her name is Khadija. She has her own lash line called Doso Beauty, so if you want to check that out, I'll put that in the link down below. To set this entire look, I used my Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. So yeah, that is it for today's video. This is the completed look. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one.